Until the day Levan Saginashvili loses his first match, he will always be considered the favorite against anyone. But the big question is, does Devon Larratt have any chance in this super match? I think it will be a weird thing to say that the current number one arm wrestler and the East vs West super heavyweight champion does not have any chance of victory. He for sure does have some chances. But for Devon to win this super match, many things need to fall in place. So here are the 5 things out of which at least 3 to 4 must happen for Devon Larratt's victory. Number 1. The infamous coin toss. The aura and popularity of Devon already defies all the probability and statistics rules when it comes to the chances or should I say the privilege of getting the good side of the table. Devon is the only person in the world who has a 90% constant winning rate in the coin toss. Devon, no limits, Larrett. Perfect. So first of all, Devon himself believes that having the buckle on his hand is a big disadvantage for him despite it being a fair strap, the term that was coined by Devon himself. And it's clearly visible in Levan's game too. Levan was stopped by Hermes about 3-4 times in their super match and all of those stops came when he had the buckle on his hand. When Levan didn't have the buckle, Hermes couldn't even stop him for half a second. So when both arm wrestlers are top rollers, like in this case, the side of the table matters a lot. Number 2. Zero mistakes from Devon. I think it's a given. Devon cannot afford to have any mistakes in that match. If he gets his wrist taken by Levan because of some mistake, then the match is over. He is not going to recover from that. And I don't think his arm power is as good as Hermes Gasparini to stop Levan with a flop press. Number 3. Levan must make a mistake. So Devon might be hoping that Levan does something crazy like Dave Chafee when he almost knew that he couldn't get a pin in their 2019 match. Still, instead of standing back up and trying to regrip, he kept driving sideways and exhausted himself. This is exactly what Devon wants Levan to do as well and it will be a fatal mistake for him. Number 4. In order for Devon to win this match, Levan must not have a flop press. The size, the frame that Levan carries, if he has practiced the flop press enough, just like Gennady Kwekwinia did, then Devon will be left with no other choice. He cannot force the hook on Levan and he will not be able to stop Levan's flop press. Number 5. Levan's wrist has not recovered and it is still injured. This can play a big role in this upcoming super match. Levan's wrist is what Devon will be targeting the most. And if it has somehow become the most vulnerable point in Levan's game, then this could be match over. Because this is one thing that used to be Levan's strongest point. And once you lose your strongest point, and in fact if it turns into your weakest point, then you are about to have a bad day. As I said earlier, I think at least 3 of these 5 conditions, preferably all 5 of these conditions need to meet in order for Devon to win this super match. Mention your thoughts in the comment section, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.